Hi, this is Shane from Gadgets TV. Today we're going to be reviewing the Xiaomi Yi Lite, kindly supplied by Gearbest. If you're looking for any gadgets, uh, give them a check over there. Let's start by running the application. Firstly, we need to pair up the lights. Now, power the light on. The light will automatically go into the flow settings. But uh, let's go on to the hues for now. Once we've selected hue, we can then adjust the hues of the light, changing the different light colours and temperatures. Once you've chosen a colour, you can make it darker or lighter by sliding up or down. Or again, changing colours to those that suit you. All the controls on screen are left or right, up or down. There's also the white selector. With this you can change the white balance, you can change the colour temperature and brightness of the lights. Next up is the flow settings. You can select the colours that you'd like to be most active. But also another really cool feature is the colour picker. With this you can either take a photo or use one that's already in, ex in your existing photo album and choose a selection of colours on there that you'd like to scroll between. Uh, I'm just going to move these around a little bit uh, and save. Now the flow settings will go between those colours. Uh, so this may be really useful for if you've got particular colours on your wall. If you take photos of those, you can have the light select your bedroom colours while it's scrolling through. Or perhaps if your children really like blues or greens or reds or pinks, you can have it sort of only switch between those colours. Up in the top right hand corner you've got the three dots for the menu system. If you go into there you can see the account, the name, schedules. Um, you can set the light to come on or off at different times. Sleep timer, this is something I use quite often. Um, you select the amount of time you'd like to leave the light on before you go to bed. Um, press and hold the power button until the lamp flashes and then that will set the sleep timer off so the light will automatically turn off after a set period of time. Night mode, um, if you select the times that you're likely to be asleep between, if you happen to get up in the middle of the night and want to turn the light on, uh, you can hit the button on the top of it and rather than coming on at full, full brightness, it will come on at a dim light so you can not wake everyone else up but still get around. The wake up light um, is set 30 minutes before you're due to wake up or, or when your alarm is due to go off. It brings the lights up gently so it wakes you up with a nice relaxing kind of mood. The software and firmware versions were updated when the phone was initially installed and connected up. You can also disconnect Bluetooth, unpair or pair up to a Mi Band for more control. There's feedback and also reset, completely reset everything back to factory standards. Right, design wise, it's a nice looking unit. Um, it's fitting with the children's bedroom but also fits in quite nicely with an adult's bedroom. It's very stylish, the aluminium light bottom and the opaque light white looks very, very nice. Um, could they have made it better? I don't know, it's a nice looking light. Uh, to my mind it's a lot more attractive than the Philips Hue lights. Um, I think Xiaomi have made quite a striking design there. Uh, one little thing to note, on the top of the light the controls are labelled in Chinese. However, this is a smart lamp so you're probably going to be using your phone a lot more than it would be the top controls. Um, the centre button is the power button. You've got the sliders on the top to set uh, the different functions. There are a list of these online that you can use if you really wanted to. As I say, it's all about the smart features and all about your smartphone. The application is fairly simple to use. 
one thing that would be nice if they were to allow it is to pair up more than one light so you could have mood lighting in the room. At the moment it's not a feature they do have but uh, obviously we'll look into that and if they do make it available I'll let you let you guys know. Problems with the light, um, it does what it's supposed to do, it does it really nicely. Uh, it's a light my wife actually likes which is unusual for most gadgets. My main bugbear is the power supply that comes with it, uh, comes with a two pin plug. Now over here in the UK we use the three pins. Whilst I've got lots of plug adapters, it does mean that my bedside cabinet can't sit as close to the wall as I'd like it to. Um, I'm going to have a look online see if I can find a an adapter that will work with it, with a UK plug on there, just so I can push my cabinets back. If I do manage to get hold of one, I'll put a link in uh, the notes below so you can get one as well. Apart from that, it's a really nice light, and for the money, it's hands down better than the Philips. Would I recommend it? Yes, yeah, certainly. It's good, good, good light, um, and the price is amazing. Thanks very much, and look forward to seeing you on the next review. Bye-bye.